Yep. Yeah. Yep. So you got 11 days trial ration. Anyone else willing to do something else? I'm going to buy 11 days trial of rations as well. Uh, from the people or are you in the kitchen? Actually, you don't know what, what, what he's doing. All right. He asked these for uh, 11 separate pieces. I give it to him. Okay. You know what really sucks? What? I have a whole bowl of Halloween candy. Well, lucky you. I can't even eat candy. Get it. I can't even eat candy. That's okay. I just put more insulin in you. Uh, <laughs> I don't think the doctors would like that. That's, that. That is true. I could go eat a bunch of candy bars and just keep taking a shot for every candy bar. Mm-hmm. What was that? Um, but... Yep, I will, I'll walk out of the kitchen and say, all right, let's get a move on. Let's get moving. Or, I mean, are we tired? I guess we're tired right now. We could probably take a nap, eh? Mm -hmm. The room is uh, five gold apiece. Cool. Um, I mean, it, it better be a nice room for five gold pieces. Uh, or I guess we don't have much of a choice, do we? Oh, because uh, there's a lot of people here that are probably going to ask for a room, too. That's what they raised about. Um... Okay, I'll pay the five gold. I'm not going to argue about it. Okay. I mean, or we, can, or we can go out in the woods and find somewhere to camp. It's up to you guys. Woods sounds better. I'm going to go with the woods because it's probably actually safer for us to be in the woods than surrounded by all these people that I'm not used to seeing our kind. That's probably true. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys probably didn't even see my kind until we ran into each other. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's walk north until we find a cozy spot, I guess. Okay, you go up north. Good. We go up north for a couple of hours. Finally found trees and the woods. Uh, you start entering in. About another um, 60, seven more hours. Uh, you guys start, start to feel very tired. All right, so let's find a place to camp. Let's set up watches and let's... Uh... Let's do this adventure time. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Let's do it. Just to let you know that um, the sky is still burning bright. All right. Yeah, I mean, because there's no sun in the sky, right? It's yep. just like always bright. Yep. So I thought that I, I remember that. Yeah. All right. Let's uh let's settle in. Okay. Uh, I'll take first wash to get it over with. Okay. I'll take two. Okay. Hey guys, didn't we have a? What happened to that other guy that was with us? I think he walked off somewhere. He just. What was his name like? Is it kind of dangerous for him just to walk off? It's kind of kind of weird. Well, things happen. I think his name is Jägermeister. Jägermeister. Yeah, Jägermeister. Right, right. That that was that dude. He came here with us, and he now he's. Buff. Well, I don't think anybody's gonna mess with him, but. Uh, you guys wake up. Um, still bright and sunny outside. You feel rejuvenated and not used to sleeping during the daytime. Right. So as long as we got the hours in, we needed it. Let's let's uh, let's head towards this cave they were talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm just gonna do your sleep and stuff for th those those turns to get up there because it's just basically you walking up there and, and put your get your ass up there. Yeah. Uh. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Not good. Not good. Uh, I'm gonna make this map like here. Come on, roll 20. You can do it. Show them this area so we can do a battle plan over here. Goddamn, roll 20 sucks. I'm at an empty map, but uh, <laughs> I, uh, are you are you loading the map? No, I'm not loading the map. I'm just making a little uh, vi vis visual on the side. So that you guys can see it. So you guys can do a little 
mock battle around that area. But for some reason it doesn't want there we go. Finally wants to do it. Uh it'd be the left left hand side of the end. So uh left side of the end? Yeah, you see your character has been moved. <sighs> Case you see a look like a lizard a giant lizard on four legs with spikes uh, with uh, like a spiked armor all over his back to his tail cool anybody know what that is it's eating greens uh, on the ground uh, I'm gonna roll dungeon air. And I rolled a one. So it looks like uh that. No, it looks like some kind of a dinosaur that you think you know but you don't know. Uh twenty one. It's a stegosaurus. A stegosaurus. Guys. <sighs> okay, what do you do a dinosaur? Mm-hmm. This is crazy when it was in your path. I think I'm old enough to know what a dinosaur is. My character is old. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't mean, mean, it doesn't mean you actually old. seen one before in your life. True, because I'm from the desert. Uh-huh. It's enjoying eating its green, and it looks like it's guarding an egg. All right. Well, let's leave that egg alone. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Uh, Unless we want to hit it from a distance. I I don't see the reason. <laughs> What's the point? It's got an egg. It's, it's a yeah. Don't we're gonna trap. We're gonna trap it in this dimension anyway. So. Yeah. It's, what's the point of killing it? Mm. I I say we leave it alone, or try to leave it alone. Mm -hmm. um, All right. Yeah. I I I'm gonna walk away. I'm not gonna. Uh, yeah, well, but yeah, if you try to take a long circle away from it. <sighs> okay, that's all you guys do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you roll for it. Don't worry. Ah, one more day left. Okay, uh, no other encounters. So basically, you guys are at this construction. This open field looks like it's been uh, like buildings been destroyed. A lot of stone blocks all over. But you know there's some uh, a clearing down going down deep into the earth where it's looking like a tunnel and you see a big round shaped door down in the tunnels um look at this door <laughs> but what's, what's so tell us what the door looks like made out of the store looks like it's made out of stone it's the same construction block as it is but someone just carved it in as a stone door, but other than that, uh, looks like it has been open for a very long time. Good. The try to check it for because vegetation and stuff is still growing on it. I'm gonna check it for some traps, anyways, just to be careful. Alright. Uh, you don't think there's traps? Don't think there's traps. I think we're good to go in. Ah, uh, let's do it. Let's open this door. Okay. Uh, roll me a strength check. Who's gonna open it first? Uh, what's your what's your my strength? Sixteen. What's your strength? Fuck. Eight. Eighteen. So uh, let's have Buck try it. I'll just solid. Looking real strong today. Okay. Nine. Uh. Fourteen on a strength sixteen. <laughs> Assist. His uh, only plus two. two. So it'll be nineteenth altogether. Uh, you have a very hard time. You, you hear a little, you feel a little push, but not all the way through. Through. You're, you're like catching your breath and everything else. Everyone, me again. You, uh, okay, I'll roll in. 22, I got a 20. 
I am. Okay, the best I could do. you guys opened it. All right. Now we're in it. Yep, you guys go down the stairs. I uh, ready my, my shield and my axe. I'm gonna uh, get the, the fire longsword ready. Okay. Can we hear anything? Uh, no, you hear, you know, uh, look at what an empty uh, uh, hallway it sounds like. And you hear your own footsteps because it's made of stone. Alright. Got that. Uh, so I got a swiper right there. Wow, Rule 20 is not doing a good job right now. I have a hard time putting you in here. There we oh, go. No. There you go. Do you guys see your characters now? I see a black screen. Uh, I see my characters. It's on the right so, hand side of your map. Right hand side of that. It's on the left part of the map? Right. The right part of the map. Got it. Okay. Uh, I haven't found it. Damn, why do we always, why do we all, always have this trouble with roll 20? Uh, I just, I just uh, zoom, I, did, I always just zoom all the way out and then zoom in. Yeah, I found it. Okay. I see the, uh... Generate a dungeon map? That's basically what it is. Alright, so, uh, this is what you guys see? Yeah. In a long hallway, it looks like it's going towards the right. Down south. Uh, uh what's the lighting like? I mean, I have... Uh, it, light, it, it, but... it, it, it's dim. There's there are looks like there are everlasting torches that've been lit, and never just um, basically uh, uh, you know turned off. Looks like the flames are magical. Bob, what? dark, so I'm fine. What's this eye right here? Uh, you don't see an eye. Oh, okay. That's for I don't me. See the eye. That's for me, not for you. Okay, I'm gonna come up to here and then. Do some some searching around. Uh, are you going to go on the eye? Uh, um, yeah. Uh, everyone, may reflex save. You hit a trap called fireball. I'm just joking. <laughs> um, but no, um, it, it, it's just one of those dungeon. I, I use a dungeon generator for this because I don't want to oh, drop okay. the damn thing. Um, gotcha. So basically, uh, yeah, it's a long hallway. You go around. Uh, so far, you didn't see anything, uh, but you see. On the other side, in the long hallway, I know you've gone through. There's, it looks like it goes in the right. And, and the left of it is a door. So let's go up to the door. Check out this door. Sup, door. Um, what does the door look like? Wood? Stone? It's made out of stone. Stone door. Uh -huh. wanna, wanna, is there any like work on it or anything? Or is it... Just a door. Just a door. Check it for traps. Yeah, go for it. Last three. Five. Aren't you it's just good. a fighter? It's good. Yeah, but I no, no traps. Good. Okay. All right. No, no traps. No I traps. It's fine. No, you don't see good. any. You don't feel any traps in there. Ah, no traps. We're good. You guys want to go in the door? Let's do it. Let's just open it. We're gonna open the door. Okay, um, who's gonna be, roll me the line, lineage of it. The lineage? The what of it? The lineage, basically, uh, who, where, who's gonna go in first front of the door, next to the door, and stuff like that? Uh -huh. I mean, no. the dwarf's gonna open it, I'm gonna be right next to him. Uh, so, let's put you behind, so I'll put you actually down here and there. Sorry, the square does not really match, match the thing, but it'll, okay. it'll, it'll do. Uh, okay, uh. I need you, Scrim, and Ashley roll me a fortitude save. You see a, a mist of green smoke coming out from the door once you open it. It's fine. There's no traps, guys. <laughs> I got 17. Uh, you feel fine. Yeah, there's nothing wrong. There's just a little smoke, guys. I mean, just, yeah, just, uh, no. 
No. Okay, no. you feel uh, you feel sickened, and you you take half half turns, Ashley. You uh, you doing okay back there? I got stuck to my. It smells stuff. like really bad rotten egg. I farted. Damn dwarves! I one hundred percent farted. This was all set up for a fart joke, and I got you. <laughs> uh, would you uh, Buck, you feel fine. I feel great. Uh, you open it. You see a uh, couple lizard folks in this room. Basically, I'm uh, mothering amongst each other, like, and their eyes looks like it's blind, like, there is no eye. It was like, 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 really like a big white film over it. And you see them start eating each other, slowly. And, and munching over the, uh, the dead corpse of other lizard folks that was in there. That's gross. Um, uh, you guys want to watch this play out? Or close the door and come back in a little bit, see if they've eaten each other somewhere? Uh, uh, I'm gonna 50 percent. What's fifty percent mean? Fifty fifty. I'm gonna decide. I'm gonna flip a coin. All right. Uh, under fifty is uh, stay. Over fifty is uh, we won't watch. Right. Uh, under fifty, we gotta stay and watch. Oh, can you see that there's like like twelve dead lizard folk like the embodying you know, eating them slowly. And munching on them. That's that's pretty gross. Yeah, that's pretty gross. Uh, that's pretty gross. And you can see these lizard folks' scale has been like withered away, and there's like welts on them, and like oozing pus coming out of there. That's where the the, the sickening smell of the smoke is coming from when you open the door. Uh, They've been down here for a while. I is, uh, that's my guess. The, hey, well, Dungeon Daring. You uh, Dungeon Daring is for the creature, uh, not for. Well, they're creatures. I know, but if you see what kind of creature they are, that's basically what you know as a lizard folk. That's all I'm gonna tell you about. But uh, you need to roll knowledge, uh, uh, at least insight. And no perception, you cannot roll perception for it. To see uh, if they've sure. been, see if they've been here for a while. Uh, actually, so I rolled, a, I have a plus three, so I actually rolled 20. Well, you know that they look like they've been here for a very long time. We don't know how long, but you know that the, the, the disembodied lizard folk body has been rotting and they're still eating the rotting flesh of their own uh, kind. All right. Uh, should we just charge in? I mean, or just kind of walk to a different door? Uh, let's try to bottleneck them. What do you think? So, or... charge in, then kite them out? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right. I'm going to come in and yell, Ah! Rabble, rabble, rabble. Okay. Fart while you're in there, too. Well, no, they won't even spell it. I, even... I, I fart again. Huh? <laughs> uh, and do you, you, right. you just literally stay there and just say that? Well, he, I, he's going to run I, back out. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna ready myself to run back out, but uh, no. attraction I go. Ah, rah, 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 rah. Uh, they say, ah, oh, fresh meat, fresh yeah. meat, fresh meat. By the way, bottlenecking them isn't gonna work because we're also gonna be bottlenecked. You guys know that. I just realized this as soon as I ran in here. Well, now, I guess we're screwed. I when he I, runs in, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna magic missile, uh, the one right under the four. Okay. Uh, roll me a magic missile. Uh, I have three of them. Plus three? Or plus two? I forget. Uh, what level were you? Four? Yeah. So you get second and third. That's you, get, three, you, you get three. Three plus, and then it's plus three. No, I think it's five is three, and he still gets two. Uh, so, so this does kind of suck. So ten points of damage. Oh no, it's nine because it's plus two. I think nine points of damage. 
just died. You see him like freaking, when you shot him with two bolts, uh, you start seeing his flesh just start liquefying into green goo. Like a laser! Like a little bit of green goo. It looks at you as like, fresh meat. Fresh meat. As, as, it, as it turns into goo, well, I yeah. just pull out my greatsword and yell, Excelsior! And your greatsword go, uh, lights up like a candle light and they all stare at you. Okay, uh, initiative, please. Oh, I got my thing set up to paint again. Seven. <laughs> Terrible, but I'll take it. Five. Actually, it's ten. Wait, why do you roll 2d4s for initiative? Did I? <laughs> did I? Yeah, you did. Yeah, I'll, ta I'll, I'll, I'll take it, though. <laughs> was I the only one that caught that? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm not writing it down. I got 21, actually. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you go first. <laughs> I'm going to. You shouldn't say anything, magic Buck. Missile. I'm going to magic missile the one under it. Okay, roll it. You know what? We can just find out right now. Uh, magic missile. Magic missile. Let's see how many use. Uh, yeah, you use a third three on level five. You use two right now. Uh, what's your, what's your uh, damage? Hold on. I gotta readjust uh, this map. Two with third. Yeah, you're right. Okay. All right. But what's the, I'm trying to figure out the pluses on it. So it'd be plus two because there's two missiles. So I was right about the plus. Because plus one per missile. All right, here we go. Boom. Ten. Four plus four plus two. Okay. He turns into goo and says, I want the taste of flesh. Okay. They, they, they seem very cannibalistic. Uh, they, were they undead? Ah, uh, you can run touch an for that. I'll do that. I got a like an eight in dungeon area. Maybe like a plus eight or something. Yeah, plus eight. Uh, Ashley, it's uh, Ashley's your turn. I rolled twenty for dungeon airing. Do I think they're undead, or uh, do I have no idea? They're more like a ghoulish lizard folk. Ghoulish, ghoulish dwarf. They're ghoulish. Yeah, I can. I can tell. Ghoulish they, they folk, and I've already killed two of them. They, they, they literally fit the definition of ghoulish if you look it up in Hirschstrom's dictionary. I'm gonna use my heavy crossbow. Uh huh. Yeah. Up here, so I can. Okay. Um, twenty-five. They're ghoulish. Well, ghouls, the ghouls technically aren't undead. They're just like went crazy for being cannibalistic. But yes. They're ghoulish. 23. Uh, 23. You hit. Five damage. To which one? To the one by, that's on the four. Okay. Okay, it is your turn, Buck. Oh, what? I get a turn? That's pretty cool. Uh, Use your waffle iron of smite. I'm gonna come up to here, and I'm gonna hit that guy with, uh, hopefully with, well, with power attack, and then hopefully with cleave. Well, so. you, cleave has to be adjacent to you, so you'd be hitting two dead bodies then. Um... I didn't see that in there, but okay. Yeah, it's adjacent. 
Okay. You kill one, and you successfully kill one in front of you. You adjacently kill. There you go. All right. Roll me attack. You want to use, use power attack. You don't have to use power attack to use cleave. Well, I'm going to use power attack anyways. Okay. How many are you going to take? Minus two? Yep, minus two. Okay. <laughs> Eight. You, you missed. Cool. Uh, it's their turn. They're like, ah, I smell sweet meat. Sweet meat. Do you see them start grapple? Both of them grappling you. Give okay. me a, a pulse grapple. I think it's C, uh, CMD for you. Give me a CMD. Uh, okay. Um, okay. One moment. My base attack bonus went up, so I actually need to. One second. Plus four. They're gonna caress you with some rotting breath towards your sweetness of your beard from the waffles. Thirty-eight. Yeah. Well, it sucks for you. They grapple both of you. They both of them grappled you, and then now they're going to fight you. Really? Yep. Thirty-eight. Yep. Uh, Shit. what's your AC? Uh, my AC is going to be bum bum bum. 23. Okay. One actually fights. And they smell very foul. Gross. Uh, one bites you. When he bites you, you see, like, liquid goo from its gum and its fang going into your skin. Roll me a fortune say. Okay. You take 5 points of bite, bite damage with green goo coming inside, injecting into your skin. 10. Okay. 10 save. Uh, roll me another, uh, roll me a will save. Five. Okay, you're paralyzed. Okay. And slowly dozing off to sleep. All right, I'm uh, uh, paralyzed. Uh, it is uh, one of the lizard folks' turn. Goes over. He said, mm, "Smell of yanti, yanti meat." Towards you, Ashley. What's your AC? Stop, 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 stop. It's a yanti. I yeah. wouldn't know what a shanti is. It's a yanti, not shanti. What the heck is a yachty? They're snake people. What? Yeah, they're snake people. Yeah, they live in like the, the jungles of cult in uh, Forgotten Realms. Oh, so any, any other D and D books? Uh, um, Ashley, what's your AC? Thirteen. Uh, you take a, a lovely five points of bite damage from him, and uh, roll me a four to save. Okay. You see a dwarf like snoozing, snoozing while two. Why like, is it echoing? Huh? You're echoing like crazy. Uh, I don't know why. Is that better? No, it's still echoing. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, I said rope, not that. I sound fine. Not on my end. I'm wearing a headset? Nope. That's probably why. How can I wear a headset through my phone? You can I can see my face on roll twenty. Do you guys like that? Uh, okay, you successfully not feel, uh, the, the, er the effects from the green goo from their mouth slobbering all over your, your reptilian skin. Okay, it is Grim's turn. I am going to move up. Uh, I'm going to swing at that with the great sword of power. Uh, I'm, I'm going to yell. I'm going to yell. For the honor of Grey Skull, as I swing. Uh, okay. 
They roll me attack. And I figured out probably what automatically doing. miss. Somehow your voice is coming through. Uh, the roll twenty. Yeah. Uh, I. Oh, ah, oh, seven. Oh. Uh, you oh. missed. Oh. All right, that was my turn. Okay. Sorry. It is Sorry, guys. Ashley's turn. Hold on, I gotta find you guys again. Fuck. You can roll me a four to save again, try to get out of this spell. If not, I have to roll for how many turns it's gonna be like that. Mm, okay, let's see. Uh ha huh, ha huh, ha huh, ha. Huh. Okay. So Everyone's having uh, sucky rolls it's today. My turn, right? Yeah, it's your turn. Here's okay. Right you you you'll be like that for three turns, fuck. Cool. Sounds good. What is that, Ashley? Hmm. I am not equipped to handle something right in front of me. I think you still should have crossbowed his face. Yeah, I'll try that. Uh, and while you're doing that, I'm going to roll attack from two as a folk for him. Ooh. Ooh. One bites you really hard. For 20 points of damage because he got a crit and he confirmed it. 18. 18 to hits. So, uh, Buck, you take 20 points of excruciating pain damage from the bite. Wow. Okie dokie. It actually ripped a chunk out of you. Buck is Buck still, uh, he, he, he's like chromatose. He's like chromatose. Nine. Uh, this thing just basically, like, slowly, like, like ooze all over you, all over you, Ashley. I'm gonna need to take a bath after this. Mm -hmm. you, you guys can see that I'm not doing very hot, like at all. Uh, yeah, he's, he's slowly becoming a uh, food for the uh, ghoulish lizard folk. Um, it is now your turn, uh, Grim. Alright. Right there. Uh, when. Ooh, I got a 20. You hit. Uh, so this sword is 2D what? 2D6 plus, plus 6. 2D6 plus, uh, 2D6 plus 1D6 of fire. So my damage It'll is... It'll be 3D6 plus your strength. Uh, plus the sword's bonus. Well, plus so, one. You hopefully you'll be able to kill it one swing. What? That's so <sighs> bad. Oh, not bad. It died. Goddamn random number generators. Absolutely. Not, that's that doesn't look so random to me. Absolutely. It's like an orderly one, two, three. D twenty's been proven to not actually be random. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'll try to hit it now. Okay. 18 it hits. Ashley hasn't good Ashley's have been having good rolls. Yeah. Okay. Ashley should probably move in and try and save the dwarf. So you see these two lizard folk that die oozing all over you, uh, Buck. You're like can't move. You're like comatose, and yeah. you see like you know you like bleed from one end, out of one end, and and the green goose coming into your wounds as well. Oh, uh, basically covered in it. You're like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna burn the peeling the healing potion I have, and okay. dump it down his throat. Okay, let me roll for that. This is what happens when you don't have a healer. You take eight points of healing, uh, right. Buck, but you're still like in a, in a frozen state. Right. Cool. I'm gonna Thank I'm gonna you. kind of drag him up to the wall and prop him up, and just sit next to him and start telling him stories about when I was a child. <laughs> in about two seconds, you're able to move your your jaw and your fingers. Uh, I got, I got, I got. 
Then I able to then on there two three six I'm able to move your body and you're like disgusted by the smell that's all over you. I say blech and I like throw my hands and gook goes all over the place. Well, I play you do I heal I heal. You have heals. <laughs> I can heal. Uh, He's gonna right. need your help then. Yeah. I, I... It's one of my hexes. It's healing. Could you? I could burn. I can use a hex. I mean, only if you want, I guess. I'll do healing to you. And. You get nine points of healing. Yay! Alright, I'm doing better. I'm doing. Doing pretty hot right now. We're gonna be fine, guys. Everything's be good. good. Thanks good. for the help, everybody. So let's. Uh, looks like you want to go through this door, huh? Grim. I can only use I, my healing. Uh, well, I'm just at the door. I'm checking out the door. I only uh, can heal you once per day. Oh. All right. Do you uh, do you see anything over there, Grim? Um. I. What do I see? You see, a, you see a door. Uh, what's the door, mate? I see a door. I see a door. Oh, um, I... it 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 looks like it it opens. Can I open it? I'm just gonna open it. You open, open, the door. You open it. You see, and around the corner. You see a flaming skull. Oh. Damn, flaming skull! I'm gonna detect magic. Uh, are we supposed to see something? Because all I see is black. Yeah, I'm trying. Roll 20 is being a bitch right now. Yeah, let me re let me reconnect. There we go. Flaming skull. It just is wandering around. What would you guys like to do? I cast detect magic. Oh, you detect magic? It is magical. Oh, uh, so what type of magic? It is a con conjuration magic. Is it still or is it moving? It's moving, floating up in the air. Just. Minding his own business. Hasn't seen you guys yet, though. Hey guys, there's a flaming skull in there. It's a conjuration. It's floating in the middle of the room. I should say in the middle of the hallway. It doesn't know we're here yet. It, it didn't hear us open the door or anything. It's just... No, then it's just minding his own business. Yeah. Alright. You want Do you want to go further? Do you want to fight it? What do you want to do? Hey guys, give me one second. Yep, no problem. Go. <sighs> well, take a take a. Oh, uh, so uh, you see one flaming skull in the hallway. Yeah, you see another word. I will cut your internet. You won't do no such thing. You better not say it, say it because you saw my screen. I saw a screen. You want me to tell you? <sighs> oh, it looks like Ash is gonna lose a level. Ah, uh, no, we don't. We need her not to lose a level. We, need, <laughs> we there's only three of us. <laughs> we we need no level draining. Um, no meta gaming. <laughs> yeah. Uh so how do you guys want to approach this? Uh, can we just kind of peek around the corner and uh, kind of see what it's doing? Would the spell magic work on it? I have the spell magic. You can try. Go for it. Uh, Get her done. Uh, I'll try the spell magic. This spell magic. Uh, let's see here. An object, uh, spell, 
There's 1d20 plus your caster level. Uh, so, uh, 1d20 plus 4. Actually roll that. Twenty-four. It does not dispel. Done. But now, now does it question. Does it now know that we're there? Um. Yes, it does. It starts flying up to you. Ashley's gonna be right here in that corner because it's coming. Um. Uh, everyone, I, I'm gonna keep everyone keep everyone same initiative. So it's basically your turn, Grim. I'm gonna try to talk to it in common. What is your purpose here? I'm holding up the skull. I'm holding up the sword. I yell at Celsius and I, I ignite the sword in fire. Okay. You, and I you, and I look at it and I say, "What is your purpose here?" Skull? You, you hear wailing cries, and it's and and, and and flames, and they start coming towards you. Oh god, so I guess we got our initiative? Yeah, it's your it was your turn. So it's my turn to go? Yeah. Magic missile. I'm gonna burn my last one on it. Okay. Go for it. <coughs> Seven points of damage. Okay. Okay. Um, you hit it. Uh, the Zindu like did much of it. Uh, it's its turn. It goes over to Ashley, Ashley, and Spuck and Grim. Roll me reflex save. Uh, Spuck you succeeded. Ashley failed, and Grim succeeded. It actually just exploded, exploded onto itself once it went towards Ashley. And you guys take a lovely eight. Ash takes eight points of damage. Everyone else takes four. All right. All right, you got him. Ooh, eight points of damage. That's not much for a fail. Uh. -uh. Well, yeah, I rolled, a, I rolled a four, three, and a one, so. <laughs> hopefully, uh, All right. hopefully, hopefully, I get three sixes. All right, what else do you guys want to do? Uh, go down the hallway. Okay. You literally just go just like that. Okay. Uh, looks like you're still initiative order, just letting you know. Uh, you see them, uh, so, one, two, so, basically, Ashley and Buck roll initiative. Graham, you're safe, it's only a 10 foot radius. Initiative? No, I mean, reflex. Alright. All, you, yeah. you see all the skulls coming. Hey, okay, I uh, both of you guys failed. You guys take 13 points of flaming damage, exploding flaming damage. All right. And you these see are like floating bombs. Basically, yeah, these, another these uh, cool. another one hey. comes in. Roman, no, you two, Roman, no reflex. Another reflex. Yeah, uh, bucks to seed it. Okay, uh, Ashley takes 12 points of damage, and Buck takes 6 points of damage. I'm out. I'm in negative. Uh, I'm, in, I'm in negative 1. I'm negative 4. Uh, both of you guys for me a constitution save. I do have medicine. Well, it's not your turn I'm yet. Gonna... Constitution save? Yeah. Only one buck, you're stabled. Ashley, you're stable. Does that bring me back to zero or does that leave me at negative one? Still leaves yeah. you negative until the end of the end of the battle. 
Uh, it is your turn, Grim. Uh, they're both stable, so I'm just gonna sit him up against the wall. And sit there going, oh shit, I don't know what to do. You see, oh, another, shit, flame, you see another flaming skull coming. I, I'm gonna pull them both back. Do I have enough time? Uh, you can pull one back. I gotta pull the closest one back. Out of range. Yeah, you pull her back 15 feet. And uh, that's all you're able to do. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thanks. Uh, it's your turn, but I mean, your turn, Graham. Uh, I'm going to pull the dwarf back. Okay. You pull them all the way back here. Very good. Um, I have, I'm going to make sure they're behind me. Okay. I'm going to hold my sword up and get ready for it to come into melee. Oh uh, well, you'll be able to attack because you use your two move action and, and to yep, to pull them. The yeah, that's the end. Of, that's the end of my turn. Okay, uh, Swiper and Grim Roman Reflex. All right. Twelve. Okay, you failed. <laughs> uh, Swiper succeeded. Okay. You take sixteen points of damage, Grim. Yikes! I'm I'm hurting, but I'm still up. Uh, Ashley, you get you, you your sniper takes eight. It is your turn, Grim. Is another one coming? Yeah, you see two two of them coming. Two more. I'm gonna grab Ash right behind me and pull it through the door. Okay. What do you wanna do with Swiper? Oh, Swiper. I'm gonna Swiper. motion for Swiper for the. I'm gonna yell at him. Swiper's She's a gonna follow his master, you know, his switch. Okay. That's what familiars do. They but stay there. Is that what you guys do? Well, I'm gonna try and get the dwarf. Oh, that's next turn. Right. All uh, right. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh god. Run me a percent die. Fuck. Alright. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Well, I could sacrifice Swiper. It's too late. It's too late. You're, you're unconscious. You take three points of flame damage from your constitution save. Okay. You can still make it. You can still make it. Ooh, good. Uh, you succeed it. Okay, right, uh, Grim, go. I'm gonna do it. Get the dwarf, pull him through, and uh, shut the door. Uh, you won't be able to shut the door because you pull the door through. Alright, I'm gonna stand in front of the door. Uh, no right, right next to Ashley, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, okay, go Grim. Looks like that's the only flaming skull left. I'm gonna shut the door. Because okay. I don't have enough hit points to survive. I got a hit from them. Okay, you close the door. <laughs> I'm gonna prop them up against the wall and make sure they're stabilized. <laughs> uh, they're all stabilized. I'm gonna go to the other doors in the room and make sure they're all closed. And I'm gonna get anything I can to to prop up against the doors. Okay, you got a whole bunch of dead corpse. That's pretty much liquefied. Fuck, I'm gonna I'm gonna pile up whatever I can in front of the doors. Which door? Uh, in front of the door with the skulls. Okay, you got like a couple of limbs and torsos, and you got a lot of green ghoul over you, uh, propping against the door. I'm gonna sit down and lay next to him and, and try to wait out eight hours and see what happens. Okay, uh, you guys wait for eight hours? <sighs>
Okay. Uh, Seth, do you, you, you roll me a perception? Sixteen. Okay. You see a, a, the green goo that came out of the um, the lizard folk start to form a, a basically a blob structure. So uh, this is after eight hours, or this is like six hours. Every uh, everyone gets about three fourths of the health back. Health back. I get three fourths my health back. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So how much is that? Do math. I can't do math for shit. What's your H what's your total HP? Thirty-four. Thirty-four? What's thirty-four divided by four times that by three? Huh? Oh god. I'll do the math for you. Wait, your HP is thirty-four? Yeah. How's your HP higher than mine? You take you, oh, yeah. you, you get twenty six HP back. Does anyone need me to do their math for them? No. Yeah. You should be fully healed, so. Yes, I am. But not, and you won't be able to get your full spells though. Uh, at six hours, I don't get spells back. No. Uh, so you see the green massive ooze from the lizard folk that you guys killed a while ago, forming the mass puddle of ooze. <laughs> Uh, start to going towards you. Uh, it's initiative is. Well, it is your turn, Grim. I'm gonna swing at it with my flaming. I'm gonna move into melee. I'm gonna swing at it with my sword. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen. Let me get the stats up. Unless you guys wanna go against an owl bear. Oh, there sounds good. Oh, uh, you hit. You hit. Uh, 15 points of damage. Two of it fire. I know, I'm starting to see if it's, uh, if it's immune to fire. Okay. That looks pretty good. Okay, it is your turn, Ashley. Uh, you are very like out of it, but you're up. Okay, I'll take my crossbow and shoot it. Okay, roll me attack. Hmm. <sighs> I don't know if you can, you can't probably crit a news. Ooh. It's immune to slashing and, and piercing. <clears throat> it's probably not critable either. Is this a challenge that you've been asking for? Oh, you owe me a dial it back a bit. It's all good. <laughs> I'm mostly mixing the Halloween special in here too. <laughs> because we didn't do the Halloween special because of what happened last month. Yeah. Okay, uh roll me uh well don't need to confirm it, just roll me damage. Okay, uh, you see the ooze starts to split. Crappers! And <clears throat> once they split, they start to be very friendly towards Grim. What's your AC, Grim? 16. Uh. Remember, this is challenge rating good. So if you kill this, you guys actually level up. Uh, again, very quickly. Um, it messes you. And it's your turn, Buck. You're up all sluggish, smelling like ass. And you're dead. like ass, covered in ash. Um, uh, all right. 
Cool bananas. Let's go in. I'm going to... Uh, okay, what's my movement speed? I guess, can I get to him? Hold on. Really, I guess that's the, the main thing. You can get to him. I can? Alright, cool. I'm going to get over to here. And then I'm going to... Power attack? Cleave? You go Cleave. for it. Using two. Okay. 18. You hit. Cool. Um, I'll roll my second hit. Do you want me to roll my second hit or damage first? Uh, roll, me your, roll me your second hit. Okay. His AC is four, so. Okay, gotcha. And then do I take two off of my second hit as well? Yeah. Okay. 11. Hmm. Tits. All right. Let me Perfect. damage. I'm going to combine the, uh, I guess, the two rolls. 2d10 plus 12. Or plus 16. 32. Okay. It looks like it didn't do anything to it. It didn't do anything to it? Nope. Oh. That's just... I tried. I swung really, really hard. It's good to impress me how hard you I swung. You guys smoke. can roll a Dutch Daring about this, uh, 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 about this ooze. I'm I, just, I had to use spells to it. I'm pretty surprised, so I'm gonna take a take a second and be like, "What is this monstrosity?" It's oh, Bill, got it's, it's Bill Cosby reincarnated. He, he's still alive. <laughs> mm, See, so you, you hear the voice of yeah, a happy he... voice. Mm, put and pop. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, what do you do, Buck? I oh, don't know. So, what's What's the that? What's what happened? Oh, yeah, it's engineering. Okay, you know, it's an orchy jelly. You know that any kind of physical damage won't do anything to it. Um, then I try to mentally scar it <laughs> with insults. <laughs> okay. Mental damage. I I berate it and try to ruin its self esteem. It's intelligent. It has no intelligence. His wisdom is one. <laughs> so then it has so no modifiers like negative something. Perfect. <laughs> so he doesn't know what the hell you what he does. He doesn't have anything. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I'm out of ideas. Okay, it is your turn, Grip. Uh, hold on. I'm, I'm, look, I'm gonna look up a spell. Okay. Let me sing you a song while you look over a spell. Uh, Savannah. I saw a way for that the trailer for that, the new uh, live action trailer for that movie. Lion I haven't King. seen it either. No, the, the, they got the double live action trailer fully out now, I'm waiting for Lion King. Because they're, they're making it. Oh, really? Yeah, Aladdin, a new Aladdin live action, and the I uh, saw Dumbles. the Aladdin trailer. It was yeah, cool. Aladdin and Dumbles coming out next year. I think Lion King's coming out end of next year or Bond. year after. Bond. Mulan's I'm coming. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing at one. I have not, I have nothing else. With uh, with weapons. Yeah. Okay. Roll me uh, damage. That I did. I hit. You hit. All right. Remember, some of this is fire. I know. I'm gonna take the last dice roll as fire. Fucking. He takes one point of fire damage. Um. So basically, uh, you can you know that the fire hurts it, but not the steel itself. Cool. All right, so that was my turn. Ah, uh, that was your turn. Uh, Ashley? You are a witch. You do know how to cast spells, don't you? Yes. <clears throat> a fireball would be nice. I'm gonna cast Flaming Spear. Okay. I see your, where would you want to cast it at? Right on top of the stupid slime. Hi, Bima. Hi. 
Oh, can't do that. Here we go. Can I help you beam up? That looks good. Uh, let me look this magic up. Fear. Okay. Range is good. Effect five feet diameter. I know that. So it only lasts for four rounds. Saving throw, reflex, negates the damage. So what is the reflex save for that spell? Uh, and it does 3d6 points of fire damage. That's actually pretty good. They used to have that spell in 3.5. Hey actually I found a perfect book for you for your drawing demons and shit. It's called Book of the Dam for the Pathfinder. Okay. I forgot we had it. Bemo has decided that she must lay What on. is your save before that spell? Save? Just say it on Hero Lab. <laughs> Fifteen. Okay, it's reflex save is minus three. I mean minus uh, <laughs> I rolled a I rolled a nineteen minus three. That's sixteen. That it doesn't do anything right now. It's <laughs> just floating right there. Uh, okay, it's, it's it's their turn. It's gonna pound one to the dwarf and give another pounding to the half elf. Uh, they both miss you. Uh, go uh, go buck. All right, I'm going to take out a torch. Okay. And um, I'm going to hit it with my torch. Well, I'm going to light my torch as well. Uh, how would you, would you like to light it? I have a flint and steel. Or actually, wait, uh, Grim's sword is on fire, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to touch it to Grim's sword. Okay, your torch is lit. Okay. And then I'm going to bring it down onto uh one of these one of these bad dudes here. Okay, roll me attack um i don't know it's an improvised weapon right uh, it, it's basically you're a fighter so you basically any weapon can be a weapon okay um but i don't i only get my base attack bonus with it though i believe all right uh, you get your base attack bonus you, you use power attack for the torch but i can't tell you <laughs> if it's sturdy enough to able to handle it it might break yeah, no, I'm just going to use my, my normal attack. I'm going to use power attack. Mm -hmm. um, 11? It hits. It's 1d4 of fire damage. Okay. And roll a percent die if it goes out. Two. Right, roll me a percent die if it goes out or not. 36? It goes out. Cool. I'm a, do I have time to light it? Light on fire with Grim's sword again? No, you already lit it out with Grim's sword. You already pulled it out too. Okay. Uh, 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 it is your turn, turn, Grim. So, I'm trying to figure out what a spell I have does it's from a source book called One Thousand One Spells. Yeah, I have it. Energy weapon, first level. What type of energy weapon you're going to use? You can use. It's a, it's a, well, I don't know what the spell does. Yeah, energy weapon. I can look it up right here. It's easy. It's easy for me because I have the internet. Energy weapon. Energy. Weapon. I want to get the the new potion companion book for the Pathfinder. Oh, still publishing it, Pathfinder what first edition books? No, they yeah no they had it for a while. It's called potion oh. crafting and stuff. Uh, it is, you touch, uh, one weapon, one round per level, so you have it for four rounds. Chant your weapon, does additional 1d6 damage of energy type of your chosen weapon. So, you have five of the ones you can put, acid, cold, fire, electric, or sonic. I'm gonna, um, do to my sword. Uh-huh. Fire. Okay. I'm gonna add another d fire. Okay, that's all you can and do. I'm gonna sw swing... You that was my whole turn? That was your whole turn, unless you have a second attack. Uh, that's it. 
Okay. Ashley. Trying to make it so I can do more damage. And I'm going to roll for the thing. It failed. Roll me three six, uh, 3d6 of uh, flaming sphere damage on that ooze, Ashley. Okay, it didn't really do much, but uh, that's great. That's uh, something. What do you do, Ashley? Uh, I, I have to concentrate with the spell. Yep. So, can't do anything else. Uh, uh, one second. Uh, it misses both of you again. Uh, Buck. All right, it's my turn, eh? Is there anything, like, flammable around me that I can discern, or is it all just goo? It's just goo. There's not, like, a flammable chandelier or anything like that? Nope. Um, you should have bought a barrel of oil or something. Uh, or have, or have a clear... Carry, or have carry some... around barrels of oil. Why not? I'm not a weirdo for not carrying around a barrel of oil. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, you may like to do, uh, uh, you know, sexual wrestling with uh, Grim. Oh, sexual I'll take the dwarf on any day. <laughs> all, all oiled up. I bet Ashley has wonderful time making that into a manga. Let's go. Let's go mud wrestling. Uh, you mean okay. oil wrestling, all shiny. <laughs> That's he like exactly like uh, a, a yaoi, right? Yeah, so you, uh, you you know Ash is making a yaoi manga pretty soon. I'll be make, doing the storytelling for it. Um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Buy it from us. Do it. Do it. And it's an ooze, <laughs> so I can't like wrap it up in a rope and tie it down somewhere because it can just move around. Um, okay. I guess I'm going to take out another torch, light it on Seth's sword, and then hit it. Oh, don't you guys have, like, vials that hasn't been identified yet? I don't. I think someone got alchemist fire. I have I have one healing potion. Uh, Dragon had alchemist fire. Everybody drank it. Uh, uh, oh, he's, he's gone. <laughs> uh, you can do yeah. two attacks with your torch, but hopefully it doesn't, get, doesn't go on the first one. So you can do two attacks. You had him survive drinking alchemist fire. Me? Well, yeah. Let's just do a 1d6 worth of burning damage. Uh, a 10 for one, and then a 20 for the second hit. A natural 20 for the second hit. How do you get 2d20? You said two. I can do two attacks. Yeah, you don't add those two together. I wasn't. I was doing one for one and one for the other one. Uh, got one's 10 a 10 and one's a 20. 20. Yeah, 10 plus 20. No, no, no. His first what? attack's a 10, his second attack's a 20. Yeah, don't do that ever again. You gotta you got type it separately, please. Okay. They both hit. Right. They both hit. Uh, Roll me percent die for one of the torch. Okay, it does not go out. Uh, Roll me a percent die for the second torch. So it does not go off. His torch still lit, so you can do uh, 2d4 worth of damage. Okay. Six. It is dead. Yay! Uh, go, uh, Damn, go Grim. 23 to hit. It hits. Just roll me 2d6 because the other damage won't do anything. Alright. I'll roll 2d6. You got it. Eleven. Okay, it's still standing. Uh, so how you do? I hold my ground. Half uh, turn. Uh, Ashley. I moved the fireball, or the fire sphere, because I can move it. I know. One point. No. Uh, uh, okay. Roll me three d six worth of damage. Twelve. Okay, it dies. Yay! 
Magic saved the day. Mag Friendship <laughs> is real magic. <laughs> <laughs> you see a pile of shining looking object from each of the ooze. Mm. Oh. Let's, let's investigate, uh, guys. Let us investigate. What are these? Yes, what are these <sighs> tiny objects? Uh, let me go and roll for it. Because... Not that one. Hold on, guys. I'm looking at these shiny objects to see what they are. I will be able to tell you shortly. Hmm. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Okay. You found a ring that looks like been is made out of of gold, but is the shape of looks like a, a skull of a look like look, the shape of a skull of some kind of reptile reptilian creature. And you also found a necklace, uh, an amulet. I'll detect magic on everything. Uh, the amulet has magical. Is a conj faint conjuration coming from it, and the ring has a faint, uh, moderate necromancy aura towards it. Oh, huh. I'll look him over and see if there's any magical writing. I can read magic. Uh, there's no magical writing on it. Well, I, I, I tell the dwarf what I found with detect magic. Could I do knowledge arcana on it? Yes, you guys can. Sure, I can do that. I'm like plus 13 now. There you go. Twenty-eight arcana. Okay, the amulet is called the amulet of the abyss. Uh, it has a face, it has a bearing of a mark of the the demigorgon. The demigorgon. Yeah. It grants the the wearer to ca ability to cast each of the three spell like ability granted by the associated demon lord. So, I gotta see what this what kind of spells goes with the demigorgon. Uh, the one for the lesser spell, a demon demon grants an exalted boom and awful or good character who wears this amulet gains two negative level. These two negative level remain as long as the amulet is worn. It cannot be overcome in any way as long as the amulet is worn. So you can gain three extra spells from a dem uh, from a demon lord, uh, but you lose two levels two le le until you when you're still wearing it. Okay. So nice. you lose two actual levels, or you gain two spells. You three three you use three spell uh, spells for demon lord uh, category. Uh, but but if you wear it, if you not if you take it off, you you get your two levels back. Yeah, it doesn't seem worth it. I think we should just uh, pocket it and sell it. Uh, one is a ring of the the Kako da da Daemon. Sculpted into the incarnate form of a golden Kako Daemon, the ring features a decorative wide open mouth and can uh, hold a soul gem raised between its horn. The ring allows the to tap into the residence with residual memory of the mangled soul it contains. Once per day, the wearer can interrogate the soul in the gem as per speak with dead, except the soul answer telepathically once per day the bearer can project the soul soul's last tormented moments before it was consumed and bound create a cone of terror as uh terror as per fear it has no soul gem on it hmm. and you're level um, five da 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 and I just discovered that looking at my sheet, my strength is not 16. It's uh, 17. Okay. But it doesn't matter, because in Pathfinder, 16 and 17 are both plus 3. Yeah. So uh, I had my modifier correct, so it doesn't, yes. doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, but you're level 5. All right, I'll look your that XP up. was the, the bl exploding flaming skulls aiming at you guys. Nice. And there's still one waiting for you outside. <laughs> I mean, it's should we level up the characters, or what do we want us to do? 
Uh, it is. Who took this one? Eleven oh eight. It is yeah. your. It is your guys' choice to level up now or level up later. Or you guys want to continue? Or you guys will call it night. The taco also. Kimchi Here. I'm over. No, put it back. I'm gonna make kimchi. Huh? What is that? It's up to yeah. Buck. It's up to Buck too because he has to go to work tomorrow. We don't. Yeah, I mean, I don't care. I'll keep playing. Buck. 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 Okay. Sorry, I'm good with being done. I've been talking this whole time. Sorry. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good with being done, I guess. I'm, I'm good to you call sure? Right. All right. Yeah. Hey, Buck, we are meeting this Tuesday for uh, Starfinder. Are we this time? Yeah. Are All you, right. Are you going to come over Saturday to help with the drought problem? Uh, Saturday, no. That won't be rough. Uh, damn. No, it's nice when the weekends are rough for me. but That might be $5 in your name. <laughs> nice. Five dollars. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye.